Looking for some aerial entertainment? Look no further than these surprising flyers from the animal kingdom. From geckos that can parachute from tree to tree, to fish that can glide through the air, to squirrels that can fly like superheroes, these creatures are sure to leave you amazed. And forget about birds, these unconventional flyers will have you rethinking everything you thought you knew about flight. So get ready to be wowed by the unique and unexpected aerial abilities of these top 10 animals that take to the skies in surprising ways. It's time to discover the furry, feathery, and finned wonders that defy gravity and take flight like never before. Starting off our list is the Ambopterex, a strange little dinosaur that lived during the Jurassic period. Over 160 million years ago in the late Jurassic period, the tiny Ambopterex longibrichium would have been seen gliding from tree to tree. Living in what is now China, this omnivore used leathery bat-like wings to get around. Discovered in 2017, Ambopteryx is the second dinosaur to be found with large membranes on its wings, hence its Latin name that means, both wings. From fossils, paleontologists can tell that its stomach contained gizzard stones like modern plant-eating birds, but also bone fragments. An adult weighed just a few hundred grams. This dinosaur belongs to the Scansoriopterygid family, which also includes Yichi, another bat-winched dinosaur. The Yichi fossil was found with traces of a brown film on one wing, thought to be traces of a wing membrane. This discovery shows that non-bird dinosaurs were experimenting with different ways of flying, including bat-like wings and wings closer to those of birds. Researchers now think at least four different dinosaurs learned to fly, including Scansoriopterygids. Unlike most flying animals, the Ambopteryx didn't have wings. Instead, it had a pair of membranous wings made of skin. This allowed it to glide through the air like a flying squirrel, making it one of the most unique flyers in the animal kingdom. Next up is Wallace's flying frog, a unique species of frog found in Southeast Asia. While most frogs are known for their jumping abilities, this little guy takes things to a whole new level. With the help of webbed feet and skin flaps on its limbs, it can glide through the air for distances of up to 15 meters, making it one of the most surprising flyers on our list. Also known as parachute frogs, Wallace's flying frogs, Racophorus nigropalmatus, live in the thick rainforests of Malaysia and Indonesia. They spend most of their lives in trees, descending only to find a mate and lay eggs. They use their webbed feet to glide between trees or to the ground and can travel up to 15 meters this way. This ability helps them to catch prey, mostly insects, and escape predators if necessary. They have large toe pads which enable a soft landing and help them stick to tree trunks. There are other frogs that can glide, but Wallace's flying frogs are some of the largest. They are identifiable by their black foot webbing, bright green bodies and yellow sides. They grow up to 10 centimeters long. The Wallace's flying frog population is stable, though as they often lay eggs on leaves above the wallowing holes of the nearly extinct Asian rhinoceros, further decreases in the rhino population may impact the success of the frog's tadpoles. At number 8, we have the Draco lizard. This incredible creature may not be able to fly in the traditional sense, but it definitely knows how to glide. With the help of special flaps of skin on its ribs, the Draco lizard can extend a pair of wings and glide through the air like a mini dragon. It's definitely one of the most impressive aerial acrobats in the animal kingdom. The small Draco lizard, Draco wallens, relies on its gliding ability to escape predators, find food and even attract a mate. They live in the jungles of Southeast Asia and mostly eat ants and termites. It has elongated ribs which extend and retract as needed, and between the ribs is a fold of skin which acts as wings when unfolded. Draco lizards use their tails to steer and can travel distances of up to 58 meters. They can turn their wrists 90 degrees to grab their wings while in flight. Draco lizards grow to just 20 centimeters including their tails. The underside of their wings is blue in males and yellow in females, while their dewlap, the skin at the base of their neck, is yellow in males and blue-gray in females. Males are very territorial and will use their gliding skills to chase other lizards from the trees they see as their own. 
Yes, you heard that right, even squid can fly. The Japanese flying squid uses a technique known as jet propulsion to launch itself out of the water and glide through the air. While it may not be the most graceful flyer on our list, it's definitely one of the most surprising. The Japanese flying squid, Todrodes pacificus, also known as the Japanese common squid, is native to the North Pacific Ocean, specifically around Korea, Japan, China, Russia and the Bering Strait. The female is larger than the male, growing up to 50 centimeters long. Like many other cephalopods they can change color to match their environment, helping to camouflage them from predators. The Japanese flying squid uses jet propulsion to speed through the water. It does this by taking water into its mantle, the muscular cavity that protects the squid's body, and pushing it out through the siphon, a tube-like structure used to expel water, waste and ink. This jet propulsion is so powerful that Japanese flying squid are able to propel themselves out of the water and glide by spreading out their fins and arms creating aerodynamic lift. Once in the air, they can travel up to 11 meters per second. It is believed they use this gliding ability to escape predators but also to travel quickly, they can move five times faster through air than water. Japanese flying squid use their quick speed to catch the fish and crustaceans that make up their diet. At number 6, we have the flying fish. These incredible creatures can actually jump out of the water and glide through the air for distances of up to 400 meters. With their powerful tails and wing-like fins, they can soar through the air like little aquatic superheroes. Flying fish, Exocoetidae, live in warm ocean waters around the world. There are 70 known species of flying fish. They are shaped like a torpedo, which streamlines their bodies and lets them build up speed underwater so that they can break to the surface. This and their large tails allow them to build up speed as they approach the surface. Once the fish has broken the surface its elongated lower tail lobe can still beat in the water, providing further thrust. At the right moment, large wing-like pectorals, which were held close to the body when the fish was submerged, are extended. The fish gains lift and becomes airborne. Some flying fish also have large pelvic fins and are known as four-winged flying fish. These fish can reach speeds of 60 km per hour before taking flight, which they do by beating their tails whilst still below the surface. This method causes them to reach heights of 1.2 meters and glide as far as 655 feet. Once it nears the surface again, the fish can beat the lower lobe of its tail as it re-enters the water. Flying fish have been recorded stretching out their flights with consecutive glides spanning up to 400 meters. Scientists believe that flying fish evolved to glide so that they could escape predators. Flying fish live on a diet of plankton, and are hunted by mackerel, tuna, swordfish, and marlin amongst other large fish. Next up is the flying squirrel. While it may not be able to fly in the traditional sense, this little creature can glide through the air with ease. Its flat tail acts as a rudder, while its loose skin between its legs acts as a parachute, allowing it to glide up to 90 meters from tree to tree. It's definitely one of the most impressive flyers in the animal kingdom. When you think of flying animals, it's likely that birds and bats come to mind before flying squirrels, Teramini. There are 50 different species and are all characterized by their aerial abilities. Flying squirrels don't really fly, instead they are able to glide thanks to the membrane between their front and back legs that acts like a parachute. The squirrels travel from tree to tree by jumping from a high branch, stretching their limbs to reveal the gliding membrane. Some species can glide for up to about 46 meters. The earliest fossil skeleton of flying squirrel dates back to 11 million years ago and is very similar to the large flying squirrel species that currently inhabit the tropical and subtropical forests of Asia. Most species are usually nocturnal, and some species have a specialized diet, but generally they are omnivorous and eat fruit, seeds, insects, and birds, eggs. At number 4, we have the freshwater butterfly fish. This unique species of fish has evolved a pair of pectoral fins that allow it to glide through the air for short distances. While it may not be able to fly for very long, it's definitely one of the most surprising flyers in the underwater world. The freshwater butterfly fish, Pantadon buckholzi, takes its name from the shape of its fins. 
Found in Africa, this predatory fish will wait in pools of slow-moving water for prey to pass by, using sensors in their skin to detect the small waves caused by insects landing on the surface. They then use their pectoral fins to propel themselves to the surface and capture the insects. They can detect prey with pinpoint accuracy. Freshwater butterfly fish can also jump out of the water for a short time by gliding to the surface to avoid predators. They can use their swim bladders to breathe surface air and remain buoyant for short amounts of time. These fish have both air and water vision. Their eyes are directed upwards to watch for insects, scan the water, and look for predators all at once. Coming in at number 3 is Kulls Parachute Gecko. This incredible creature has developed a unique adaptation that allows it to glide through the air. With the help of flaps of skin on its body, it can parachute from tree to tree, making it one of the most skilled aerial acrobats in the gecko world. Kulls Parachute Gecko, Gecko Kuli, also known as the common flying gecko is an Asian lizard found in southern Thailand, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia and Singapore. These geckos have flaps on either side of their body, plus webbed feet and a flat tail that helps them to glide over short distances. The flaps on their sides also blends with tree bark, camouflage so effective that only their eyes can be seen. Like flying frogs, it can grip onto even smooth and vertical or overhanging surfaces. At number 2, we have the Paradise Tree Snake. This incredible creature can launch itself from trees and glide through the air for distances of up to 100 meters, making it one of the most impressive flyers in the snake world. Its long, slender body and flattened tail allow it to sail through the air with ease, making it a true aerial acrobat. The paradise tree snake, Chrysopelia paradisi, can glide by flattening and stiffening its body while held in an S-shape. It can even make slight turns in the air by moving its body, and they undulate to maintain stability. By tilting their bodies 25 to 30 degrees against the airflow it stays aerodynamic and can travel more than 20 meters. Paradise tree snakes feed on geckos and other lizards, bats, and frogs. They live in Southeast Asia and reach lengths of up to 1.5 meters. They are diurnal and are easy to identify due to their bright coloring and red flower-like scales. And finally, at the top of our list is the colugos, also known as flying lemurs. Despite their name, colugos are not actually lemurs, nor can they truly fly. Instead, they use a technique known as gliding to travel from tree to tree. With the help of a membrane of skin that stretches from their fingers to their ankles, they can glide through the air for distances of up to 100 meters. Plus, with their large, adorable eyes and furry bodies, they're also one of the cutest flyers on our list. The Kolugo cynocephalidae, can glide for 100 meters or more between trees, making it one of the most skilled gliding mammal. It's found in Southeast Asia and is sometimes referred to as the flying lemur. Its membrane, the patagium, is like that of the flying squirrel except it starts at its face and covers its fingers and toe tips through to the tail. The colugo's limbs and tail are long and slender, and its feet are broad and have strong, sharp recurved claws for climbing. Its lightweight skeleton and wide surface area of the patagium perfectly equip it for gliding. Colugos have large eyes that give them brilliant depth perception, which helps them to glide between trees and land safely. They are such skilled gliders that they can transport their babies onto their stomachs until they are old enough to glide on their own. Colugos eat saps, leaves and shoots. They have comb-shaped teeth, which some scientists believe may act as food strainers or scrapers, or may be used for grooming to remove parasites from their fur. Habitat fragmentation, hunting and deforestation are threatening their numbers. And there you have it, our top 10 animals that fly in surprising ways in the world. These creatures have shown us that when it comes to flying, there's more than one way to get off the ground. From geckos that glide to fish that saw, the animal kingdom is full of surprises. So next time you look up at the sky, remember that there might just be some unexpected flyers sharing the airspace with the birds. Thanks for watching, and be sure to let us know in the comments which animal on this list surprised you the most. And that concludes our showcase of the today's topic.
We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and relatives so that they too can enjoy videos on wild animals. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.